Is Elon Musk about to crash the housing market? I know this seems like a clickbaity title and I don't do clickbait here. I do have a valid point to make here. So if you give me a second, I'm going to tell you the correlation between what's going on with some of the things Elon Musk is doing and what he said and what people are hoping. Everybody wants there to be a housing crash. So everybody watches these videos. Will there be a housing crash? So what has Elon Musk done that I think could spark a housing crash? We're going to get into it right now. Shut up and sit down. For those of you who follow the channel regularly, you know that I've been saying the housing market is not going to crash. I started saying it way back when the coronavirus started and the pandemic was just kicking in and everybody thought it was nobody was going to be able to go to work. Everybody was going to go broke. They were going to all go into foreclosures. Then they started the moratoriums. Everybody thought as soon as the more these uh, not moratoriums, forbearances, everybody thought as soon as these forbearances end, flood of foreclosures, housing crashes are coming. I kept saying they're not coming. Prices are going to keep going up. And nobody listened to me and they all said that I was an idiot and they were going to wait for the housing crash and they were going to scoop up all these deals. Too bad those people didn't listen to me because now that housing prices are up 40, 50 percent more in some places, they're all priced out of the market. So has Elon Musk done something that changed my mind? Well, not exactly, but let me let me get into a little bit here and tell you what's going on. For those of you who don't follow my channel regularly, this is a great opportunity for you to hit the subscribe button down there and follow along because this is an idea that nobody else has talked about. I haven't seen anybody else come up with a correlation between what's going on that Elon Musk said and the housing market. So if you want big new ideas that are original, then just consider hitting that subscribe button down there. I'm not going to go and say that I've definitely changed my mind and there's going to be a housing crash. That's not the point of this video. But I would say that there's some new developments in the economy and things going on that might be a cause for concern and a place that we need to keep our eye on. I think we can all agree that housing prices have gone crazy over the last couple of years. And I was going to pop a graph in here to prove my point, but I think, I think it's undisputable that everybody knows housing prices have just gone crazy. One of the things that has made me a believer that there's not going to be a crash is that we've had such a strong labor market. Unemployment is like at 3%. A lot of the supply chain problems are coming from the fact that companies can't find enough labor to work. So if you want a job, there's a job out there, you can have one. And this unemployment just hasn't been a problem. The economy has been doing very well. Uh, the stock market's been a little bit shaky. It's been coming down a little bit, but I think we can all agree that this is really just probably a correction that needed to come. You know, everybody got their stimulus checks during the pandemic and they became Robin Hood and Webull uh, day trading geniuses. I'll put a link down below if you haven't done that yet and you want to get a Webull account, you can click on my link down below and get a couple free stocks. But all these people putting their money in while they're stuck at home with nothing to do, putting money into the stock market, I think that helped to inflate a lot of the values of these companies. So I think we're having a pretty um, needed correction in the stock market. I don't think it's a sign that anything too horrible is coming. A lot, of, a lot of people are predicting stock market crashes and things. I know we're down, you know, maybe 20% since the beginning of the year. I know my portfolio, I started trading at the same time when everybody else did at the very bottom of the coronavirus and then it went up and now I'm down. So it's been a wild ride, but I think the stock market is just in a correction phase. Hey, Jeff, my man, we came here for the Elon story. I'm getting their internet, dude. Just give me one second. Okay, we all know that Elon has the ability to move markets. He says Doge, Dogecoin is where it's at. Dogecoin goes crazy. A while back, he said, he said Tesla was overvalued and Tesla stock dipped like 10%. We know that he can move the markets. Uh, like a year ago during the pandemic, he said he was gonna sell all of his houses. And people were like, oh, snarky, should I sell all of my hard assets? But then inflation went up and he was like, oh, snarky, I shouldn't have sold all my hard assets. Inflation, high inflation is a great time to own hard assets. And people were like, oh, I'm glad I didn't listen to Elon and sell my house. So he was kind of regretting that decision. Elon was like, my boy Jeff over there, the retirement mentality was right. I shouldn't have sold all my hard assets because there isn't going to be a housing crash. And if I would have listened to him, I would have been better off. And this is a great time for you to do what I did and subscribe to Jeff's retirement mentality channel. Yeah, I know Elon doesn't really talk like that. I wish I was an internet wizard and I could like superimpose his face over mine and make it look like Elon was talking, but I'm not. So I hope that my little... Uh, representation of him will give you a little bit of enjoyment. All right, so that's what's been going on. What's going on right now? Well, last week, Elon said he was gonna lay off like 10% of his workforce 
And that prompted uh, headlines that looked like this. Elon Musk's Tesla layoffs worst announcement in history, tech analyst says. Well, this made the markets very nervous because Elon does tend to be out in front of things and everyone was like, oh, if uh, Elon's gonna lay off 10% of his workforce, what does this say for the rest of the tech industry? Is there gonna be huge, massive tech layoffs? So now you're saying, okay, Jeff, what does this have to do with the housing market? I'm gonna wrap it all in together right now. See, what is the one thing that can cause a housing crash, to cause prices to just dip huge? Put your answer in the comment section down there. I'll wait for you. Okay, in my humble opinion, the one thing that can actually cause a housing crash is forced sales. When you can't afford to pay your mortgage and you have to sell your house at whatever price you can get, you either can't pay your mortgage or the bank is gonna take it. So forced sales, a flood of forced sales or a flood of foreclosures, that's the only thing that can crash the housing market. So if there are just massive corporate layoffs in the tech industry or the auto industry or just across the board, and every, all of a sudden just thousands and thousands of people are out of work or hundreds of thousands of people and they can't pay their mortgages and then there's a flood of foreclosures and then the housing prices crash and then the angels sing and everybody who said I was an idiot is finally correct and people scoop up all these deals and everybody's happy and there's unicorns except for the people who all got their houses foreclosed and now they're penniless and jobless and homeless. And But we're not worried about those people because everybody wants a good deal on a house, right? Well, Elon has since walked that statement back a little bit that he was gonna lay off 10% of the workforce. He's like, well, maybe it's not gonna be 10%. And well, it's probably not gonna be factory employees. And well, maybe things aren't as bad as I thought they were. So he's kind of tried to walk that back a little bit. But this is, what got everybody thinking we might need to keep our eye on it. The reasons that I've been saying there won't be a housing crash is because they have too much equity. There's not enough inventory. There's too much demand. There's too many buyers out there. The economy's been doing good. Unemployment has been low. But if we start to get lower demand, higher inventory, high inflation, higher interest rates, and massive layoffs, well, that's an environment that's different from what it looked like two years ago when I was saying there won't be a crash. So am I saying there's gonna be a crash now? No, I don't think so. I still don't think there's gonna be a crash. I don't think Elon Musk's comment about laying off 10% of his workforce is going to cause a crash. But do we need to keep our eye on it? Yes, I think that we do. People still have a lot of equity in their houses. People can do refinances. People can get a HELOC. People can find ways to probably stretch it out and make their payments till they got another job if they were laid off. Or in the worst case scenario, I just think there's still so much pent up demand, even with higher interest rates, that if they needed to sell their house, they could put it on at market value or even a little bit below. And they've already made 50% gains over the last two years. So if they still took a 40% gain, they could still get out of their house probably and not go into foreclosure. So it could, you know, I predicted that interest rates were gonna go up. I predicted that housing was gonna slow down. And I said there won't be a crash, and I think that's what's I think that's what we're about to see. But we're we need to keep our eye on all these new factors. If you like this video and you like the idea in this video, which I think I'm the only one who's come up with, then you might want to know a little bit more about why I think this, the housing market's not going to crash. You can take a deeper dive if you click over here. I'll tell you more reasons why I think there won't be a housing crash. But if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.